Hey Lipsy Guns fans, Jason and Dale here. And we've been at the range this afternoon trying the new Alaskan 360 from Rugged Suppressors. We've got a, different, a bunch of different host guns here. We got semi-automatic uh, 308s, we got bolt action 6.5 PRC, and a nine millimeter semi-automatic pistol. So Dale, what was your initial thoughts? You know, the, the initial thought was how modular the can really is. Uh, it can go from a quick detach, um, system onto a uh, muzzle brake device to a direct thread and then with a uh, another short conversion go directly to a pistol in aid of a piston and a booster. Yeah, it's a really versatile can. You know, a lot of people are, are getting into suppressors and want to know, hey, what's that one suppressor that I can do a lot of things with? And the Alaskan 360 is definitely a contender. I mean, very appropriate for lots of different guns. It's 36 caliber, so you can shoot it on a 9mm pistol. You can shoot it on a 338 Lapua. So pretty much any of your Magnum rifle cartridges, you know, it's, it's not a, it doesn't take apart, so I wouldn't use it for a rim fire. But any of your things center fired is under nine millimeter or 338 diameter, it's, it's applicable there. Yeah, it really is. And you know, some of the details that Rugged really put into this can, uh, even with the uh, flash hider itself, you know, it's a three prong flash hider. You know, some people you can kind of get the harmonics yeah. and you, can, you get that pinging when you shoot a, um, yeah, an open prong. Uh, an open prong, uh, quick detach, but you know, if you have it on your gun, why would you not shoot it suppressed anyway? But the way that the gun locks up, you do not get that, uh, that pinging sound, that resonating uh, sound that you can get from metal on metal, like a tuning fork. And it actually has a little gauge on the very end of it. When you start locking it down, it actually has a no-go or a go phase. So when your can's completely set down on your quick attach and it's locked all the way down, you just look on the very edge of it, and if it says go, you are good to go. Yeah, a really lightweight can too. I think it was under 10 ounces. Yeah. It's not very long. Um, pretty dang quiet. Uh, mm -hmm. I was really impressed with it on the, the Ruger SFAR 308. Really tamed that gun a lot. You know, it comes with the, with the Ruger Boomer brake on there, which is pretty obnoxious, yeah. especially on this 16 inch gun. Um, with that suppressor on there, it really, not only did it tone down the noise, but the recoil as well. Made follow-up shots really easy. Mm -hmm. um, still a nice short overall package because uh, that suppressor is pretty short. I can remember, you know, 10 years ago, you want a 30 caliber suppressor, you're looking at eight, nine, 10 inch long. It, they, they made them guns cumbersome. Uh, they were heavy. I mean, now you've got something that's rated for a 30, 338 Lapua that's super lightweight, super short, and very efficient. Extremely versatile. So. If you're in the market for a suppressor and you need something to cover a lot of different guns, give the Alaskan 360 from Rugged Suppressors a look. Until next time, aim higher.